Hello everyone, I am Dr. Iqbal Musani, MDS from Pune, India. I am a pediatric dentist and a specialist in treating tongue ties for newborns, infants and children. Bottle feeding actually is a substitute for breastfeeding in some of the mothers who are unable to breastfeed. When the baby is feeding from the bottle or through the bottle, the baby's tongue is supposed to function the same way as it would function on the breast. So the baby's tongue is supposed to wrap up the bottle's nipple and draw out milk. However, if the tongue is tied, then the babies are not able to actually extend and draw out milk and they end up chewing onto the bottle's nipple with their gums. So instead of the milk being expressed from the bottle and the baby able to transfer the milk correctly because of the movement of the tongue, the baby ends up chewing onto the nipple to draw the milk from the bottle. So this is exactly opposite to normal breastfeeding which is supposed to happen. Again, if the tongue is tied, the baby is not able to achieve a good seal around the bottle's nipple. And this results in a lot of noisy sucking of the milk from the bottle. This noisy sucking means the baby is simultaneously along with the milk is also drinking a lot of air. This results in the baby passing a lot of gases, a lot of colic pains. And medically, this is now called as air-induced reflux. Unfortunately, a lot of pediatricians and neonatologists end up giving colic medicines to these babies, which are actually not indicated. These babies, typically, if you keep them on the bed, they will cry out loud. They are not comfortable. So you need to hold them and you need to move around until they burn or they release all the gases these babies need to be actually they, they, they need to be held as if you know you put the baby in the seat car seat that's how they need to be held that's when they are comfortable so all of this happens because of drinking up a lot of air which is called as gas induced reflux or aerophagia induced reflux. so babies with tongue ties when they are nursing through the bottle or when they are being bottle fed they have difficulty in transferring the milk and they end up, as I explained earlier, they end up chewing onto the bottle's nipple and that's how they are drawing the milk. These babies with tongue tied will, will typically take 20, 30, 40, 50 minutes to finish that amount of the bottle, which normally should not happen. So if your baby is taking longer to finish the bottle, Possibly the baby may be having a tongue tie. Now let's come to the most important point. I'm not a big fan of bottle feeding or advocating bottle feeding for this main reason, which I'd like to tell you now. Number one, what actually happens when the baby is breastfeeding is the tongue goes or extends over the gum and therefore the airway which is there, it is increased in size. When the baby is drinking through the bottle, the nipple is forced into the mouth and the tongue pushes backwards or posteriorly and encroaches upon the airway space. This will result in less amount of oxygen supply reaching the baby's brain. All of us understand that maximum amount of brain development takes place in the first six months of the baby's life. And therefore, it is of paramount importance that adequate and enough amount of oxygen supply should reach the baby's brain, which unfortunately does not happen in bottle feeding in a tongue-tied baby. A laser surgical procedure called as the tongue-tie release can easily correct this cause of ineffective breastfeeding.